Hi everyone, welcome to my new series I thought I would make the most of my time to do something that I really like so creating this podcast would give me the opportunity to keep uploading travel related content. I do have a lot of exciting things to talk about in regards to my trips. I did record everything that I've done, all my travel plans. I do have some tips saved and some recommendations that I never had a chance to share so I think this would be a good complement to the travel vlogs that I've done for the past two years. To start this story I want to go back to where I was a kid just to let you know that I wasn't much of a traveler at least internationally. Well I do have to say that this is not fairly correct. I come from a town in the southeast corner of Portugal which is called Monte Francisco and as you can see I do live at the very border of my country so my family would always go back and forth to Spain every day all the time but why wasn't this as relevant to me as a kid I ask myself now I don't know for me this was just normal when I came to live aboard I would bring my friends home for holidays and they would get so excited and very into the idea of living between countries so yeah when they enjoyed it I was like wow why didn't I enjoy this as much as I should nowadays every time I go back home I do feel that I'm very lucky to be from that specific place in the world and from having this experience in my life my very first trip was back in 2014 when me and some other colleagues went on a school internship to Czech Republic my very first flight was actually from Faro to Lisbon it had the duration of about half an hour and then I had to wait four hours until our next flight which would be Lisbon to Prague when I did go to Prague we went north to Liberec and then Prague and when I thought I had seen it all from Czech Republic our teachers take us to Charles Bridge then that was incredible because as soon as the sun goes down from one moment to the other all the lights turn on at the same time I've discovered a company called OK Studente which was helping Portuguese students to study in the UK I immediately had the thought that oh my god that's what I want to do that's what I want to do then I got in touch with them and they helped me a lot the experience was great I couldn't recommend them more for Portuguese people who do want to study in the UK and a few months after everything happened I was in England studying in the university that I've chosen which was Anglia Ruskin University and I had the best three years of my life. Right now I am a postgraduate media student and I was so happy to figure out that all these media related subjects that I study such as television, journalism, radio, film and video production, design were making me happy and that I want to do something with this in the future but there was something missing that's when I decided I'm gonna make this happen I'm gonna pursue my dream of travel why not I like to travel I might be good traveling I'm gonna give it a go so I decided that to make this happen I would have to start small I was going to all the different cities that I've never been around England and so it all began I realized that I wasn't just traveling I was a traveler I discovered that I just adore all the bits and bobs related with my trips and my travels not only to be there but what happened before and what happened after my trip and I think all of this was great but then when I finished the trip and I came back home 
I would immediately sit in front of my laptop and I would gather all the footage that I had, edited them, create a video and then publish them on YouTube. That was when I realized that I've started my travel vlogs project. I was feeling so comfortable traveling that I started stepping forward. Instead of traveling around England, I start visiting other countries and that's when I look back and I realize that that very first moment when I dare to travel to today, I've already accomplished to travel to eight different countries and that makes me feel so, so happy and look forward to travel even more in the future. So from my story, I think it's fair to say that everyone can become a traveler if that's what it really interests you and if that's what you're looking forward to do wherever it is that you want to do it is possible and you can make it happen i think this is pretty much it from my own traveler story do let me know if there's any other thing you want to know about this topic or if there are other topics that you are interested to hear about leave some comments below also if you want to follow me on instagram this is my account i do have lots of travel related content on there see you on the next episode